your skin, Big Bandish. Hi again, it's me, Samantha, Vegan Acne Suppers, and I'm back today with another exciting video topic for you. This one's a little bit more personal. It's about nine things that I wish I could tell myself or things I wish I knew when I had bad acne. So it's easy for me to do this video now looking back because hindsight is 2020, and I know that in my position when I had really severe acne that I wasn't necessarily in the right state of mind to know these things and that's kind of why I wanted to share them today not only to reflect back on my own experience but to share with you so that maybe if you're going through what I went through and some of these issues are popping up in your life and in your skincare routine that you might be able to nip them in the bud now rather than going through the long and arduous journey that I went through to get to the point that I'm at today. Number one is just have patience. When I had bad acne, I wanted clear skin and I wanted it yesterday. And I can totally relate to why you would want that. But this is probably the number one thing that interferes with getting clear skin and that is not having patience patients with your acne products. You need to give them time to work. And I was famous for not giving my acne products enough time to work. I would try a new product and after a day or two, I would get pimples. Even though I was going to get those pimples anyway, I would say, nope, that product doesn't work and I'd write it off. In the end, this just ended up doing more damage to my skin. It ended up harming my mental health by thinking everything I tried was a failure. And so when I said that these things didn't work for my skin, what I was really doing was not giving them a chance to work for my skin. And don't get me wrong, there are things that I tried that probably wouldn't have worked anyways, but the fact is, is I didn't even give them a chance to work, so I don't really know. I know that two, four, six, eight weeks can feel like a really long time, and it is. When you have acne and you want clear skin, it does take a lot of patience to just ride the journey out with each new product you try. And sometimes with acne, that means trying several products, and that can eat up a lot of time. So I can definitely understand the desire to expedite the process, but in reality, it just doesn't work that way. And the second thing I would tell myself is to take it easy on the products. I am also notoriously famous for using way too much product way too frequently. I um, frequently got severe type of dermatitis burns to my face from using way too much tea tree oil because I was like, I want to attack this pimple and I don't want to see it ever again. So I'm going to throw so much tea tree oil on it that it's never going to see the light of day again. And in the end, it didn't get rid of the pimple any quicker and it made a really nasty scarish burn mark on my face that lasted at least twice as long as the pimple itself would have. Less really is more when it comes to skincare, especially treated skincare products. You know, putting something on your face like too much moisturizer, it might be counterproductive, but in the end, it's not really gonna harm your skin too much. Whereas putting too much benzoyl peroxide on, putting too much antibiotic treatment on, putting too much tea tree oil on, they can do real damage to your skin. So I did do a lot of damage. Thankfully, it was mostly reversible. And so I'm thankful that for that. But looking back, I, I wish I had been much gentler and kinder <laughs> with my skin. When I first got acne, it was from getting off the birth control pill. And so I had this kind of mentality that anything synthetic, any anything from a pharmaceutical company was inherently bad. And, and that I had to seek out only natural products in order to clear my skin. While this is certainly an admirable endeavor, it's not necessarily always logical. There are instances where nothing natural works for acne and then people are forced to turn to other alternatives. But what's important is that you can use natural products. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There are so many fantastic natural products and Banish is a testament to that that can clear your skin. But the damage comes in using products simply because they're natural, not because they're natural and good for your skin and good for acne, but because if it's natural, it therefore must be good for my skin, which is uh, 
false. In fact, some natural products can be the worst for your skin. So it's really important not just to look for products that are natural, but look at the aspects of the natural product and look at what it's supposed to do for your skin. So using something like baking soda on your skin might seem like a good idea because it's natural, but it's ignoring every other aspect of how the skin functions and how the baking soda impacts the skin. One other thing that I really regret was letting my skin's condition become an obsession. And at the time I would have argued that it wasn't an obsession and that it was, you know, who wouldn't want to have acne free skin, right? Acne is not a necessarily a normal state, but it became, it became an obsession for me. And when I speak with other people who have acne, I notice a lot of the same trends popping up of this obsessive nature toward our skin. And I, I wrote a blog post on, you know, ways to be truly free from acne that I think would be very valuable to, to take a read because it gives you these kind of little steps that you can take to really stop focusing and obsessing over your skin because it is so damaging to your mental health and it's not doing your skin any favors. Which really leads me into the next thing I would tell myself, which is don't put your life on hold. You can say that you're gonna wait until you have clear skin to do all these things, to pursue your dreams, your goals, to get that job, to ask that guy out, to you know do anything, but you're really only hurting yourself because your acne is not a physical barrier. Your acne does not prevent you from doing anything unless you let it prevent you from doing that. Unless in your head, you're telling yourself, I can't do this because of my acne and you're justifying it and you're giving yourself all these reasons. People will look at me, people will judge me. I'll look like a loser, I'll look like a failure. People will think I'm dirty. So the sooner you realize that your clear skin goals may not be realistic and that your acne doesn't actually prevent you from doing anything, you can stop putting your life on hold and you can enjoy the journey despite your acne. I also struggled quite a bit with my makeup routine. I don't really Really like to wear a lot of makeup and I never have. Number one, I'm not very good at it. And number two, I don't like the way it feels on my face. I like to have uh, fresh skin and I felt when I had acne that I had to say goodbye to that life. I don't get the luxury of not wearing makeup anymore because my skin is gross and nobody wants to see it. So I'm obligated to cover it up. First of all, you don't owe anybody anything. If you don't want to cover your skin because you have acne, you don't have to. Whatever you decide to do, whether you feel better covering your skin with makeup or whether you feel better um, foregoing the makeup, that is totally your decision and you are completely empowered in that decision. And I hope that whatever you choose, you don't feel like you are obligated to make that choice, that you have to go makeup free if you're in the natural skincare community. That is not an obligation that you have to wear makeup to prevent people from looking at you. Again, this is not an obligation. We're always looking for a miracle cure for acne. As much as we like to think, you know, we're logical people and we know that there's no cure for acne, that's just this miracle, take this pill and your acne will be gone forever and you'll never deal with it again. We are susceptible to these claims. You know, we're more inclined to purchase a product if it claims to get rid of our acne, right? So it's not to say that there's nothing you can do to clear your acne and that simple changes can't affect big results, but there's really no silver bullet for acne. Even things like Accutane, they are wildly effective but not always. And so rather than looking for this miracle cure to acne, we really need to take a more holistic approach to clearing our skin and looking at various aspects, including you know living life with acne. That is a very big part of it. Another thing I would have told myself if I had the chance is to do your best to stop comparing yourself to others. And I did this in a variety of ways. I would compare myself to other people with acne. You know, their acne is not as bad as mine or their acne is worse and they got clear skin. Why can't I get clear skin? And I would compare myself to people who have never had a pimple in their lives. And neither of these were realistic comparisons. I mean, no comparison is really realistic because they're not you and they're not me. Even if you put one other person in the exact same position 
in the exact same situation that I'm in with all the same lifestyle factors, they are still a completely different person and they will react completely differently to the situation. So how can I expect myself to live up to expectations of other people's genetics and other people's lifestyle factors and environments? I still struggle with this daily, so it's not necessarily um, something that's easy to do to just stop comparing yourself to other people. It is an ongoing process and it requires a lot of hard work. But the more we catch ourselves comparing and the more we're able to correct it and, and um, supplement it with more realistic expectations of ourselves, the less you know we feel like a failure and the less that we are upset when things don't work for us. Which brings me to my final and possibly most emotionally charged recommendation to the old me. This is something I wish I could have told myself every single day and it's something that if I had to choose the most important thing to tell myself, it would be that you are still a worthwhile human being. I know that might sound a bit silly and simplistic, but it's easy to feel worthless when you're surrounded by a society that idolizes perfection. And I wish I had the insight to realize that the condition of my skin and my inability to clear my skin did not for one second remove an ounce of my worth. You could fail time and time again at getting clear skin. You could have acne for the rest of your life and that wouldn't for one second make you a less worthy human being. What about it makes you less worthwhile? Do you have to have perfect skin to be worthwhile? Do you have to know exactly what you're doing at every aspect of your life to be worthwhile? Obviously, the answer is no. You are worthwhile and I hope that you, throughout your acne journey, throughout every up and down that you experience, that you don't ever lose sight of that. But I hope that this has shown you that there is hope and that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But as much as you think that the cure for acne or that clear skin is the light at the end of the tunnel, that it is actually yourself and your ability to love yourself and be kind to yourself despite your acne. Thank you guys for watching. It is a joy to be able to share this information with you and I hope that you find it useful and therapeutic.